if you're a complete beginner to this journey of learning about the trees of India, I would recommend that you start with this tree, the people tree. You may have come across this image of Buddha seated under a large tree symbolizing the moment of his enlightenment. That tree, also referred to as the Mahabodhi tree, is a people tree. And because of this association with Buddha, it is revered by Buddhists and was often used to symbolize the Buddha and his ideas. You may also have spotted these lovely leaf paintings in art exhibitions or at pavement shops. That leaf you see is the people leaf. And as it happens, it is one of the most common trees in several parts of India. The peepal is one of the easiest trees to recognize because of its heart-shaped leaf and its long, pointy tip. The peepal is a deciduous tree, so you will find it shedding its leaves in winter and can grow to be absolutely gigantic and enormous like this tree above me. Curiously, you will never spot it flowering. More on why that is so in another episode. But you will spot figs on its branches in the summer months. If you'd like to learn about that fascinating phenomenon and other interesting things about the trees around you, do subscribe to stay posted. Getting back to the people for now. The people is considered very sacred by Hindus as well because Lord Vishnu is believed to have been born under a people while Lord Krishna is believed to have died under it. Not only that, but the people is also believed to be the dwelling place of the Hindu trinity, Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva. Its roots are said to represent Lord Brahma, its trunk, Lord Vishnu, and its branches, Lord Shiva. And due to its sacred nature, it is one of the only trees to have an entire stotra or a prayer known as the Ashwatha Vruksha Stotra dedicated to it. Perhaps you have heard these lines recited by people as they circumambulate the people tree outside temples in the mornings. Mulato Brahma Rupaya, Madhyato Vishnu Rupine, Agrato Shiva Rupaya, Vruksha Rajaya Te Namaha. Do pause to notice here that the people is called the king of trees. In fact, even the botanical name of the tree, Ficus religiosa, bears testimony to the sacred nature of the tree in Indian culture. And that name Ashwatha Stotra that I just mentioned? The name Ashwatha signifies one of the people's many names and it was called so because it was a common avenue tree back in those days and when travellers who travelled on horseback stopped for a break, they tether their horses to these trees and hence the name Ashwatha or where horses stood. The people, as it turns out, has cemented its presence in Indian thought and culture since ancient times. As you can see it here, finding pride of place in a seal found in Mohenjo-daro, dating back to the ancient Sindhu Saraswati civilization over 4,000 years ago. If you enjoyed this episode, do share this with friends, check out some of the other videos and subscribe to stay posted. You can also follow me on Instagram at malika.ravikumar and Tree Talk with Malika Ravikumar.